Want to come on? All right. Let's get Ryan right Eversley back on the air. Too close to the wall, but right to the sign. Right back. To the there is Ryan's car, there the number go. four, CTF, nice Lunacy job. Racing nice Porsche 911 GT3 Cup car. I figured I would take a minute at the bus stop, you know. I thought better of it. That's Kenny Walls in the number four. You can't miss him. Phone did not hit anything. Can somebody get to him to tell me what he needs? You're alive. So we're scanning in on my car right now. Yes. And you, could you hear me earlier? Yes. Okay. I didn't know that. So live uh, over the air. I apologize for all the profanity. No, there's no profanity. Oh, okay. You but you probably heard me say I drove off the road. Um, the only thing I would say is uh, you should apologize to the uh, the Dutch community. Uh, yeah. Somebody, somebody. yeah. I'm don't not doing that. Colter, talk, <laughs> doing, buddy? Earlier I told somebody, I was like, factory guys don't normally have one of these on their no suits. No so no I was pretty happy with that. So you are now a qualified to car six now. We are now Obviously. six. Unfortunately, Andy got the bump. All right, everybody, four. black flag all, a black flag all. Reason. We got a car stopped and, uh, uh, low at four. Lights are on. Please have him keep his lights on. Okay. That's car nine, five. Mark Raffoff. Uh... Like full course yellow, full course yellow. Well, the supercar life, DPs has a problem with that. Scott Tucker team. Yep. Copy, copy. Those guys are favorite to do pretty well this weekend. Yeah. And one of them just pulled out of pit lane here. Let us know when you're on pit lane. Yeah, Kenny Wallace just went out and did a great job. He was down in the 55s, <laughs> liked the car. He actually was pretty, he's like, I can get out now if you want. We, had, we had to make road. him drive some more. So HMS Dude 24 asking the question, when the car is qualified earlier, how much difference was there between qualifying and race trim? So for a car like the 66 or 67, you know, some of the real primary Alter, contenders, what, what are some of the differences in, in what they would do? The biggest thing you're going to see is uh, fuel level. You know, you want to run the cars as light as possible, so you're going to take the Tell fuel level down. Road, we only started on five gallons of fuel, and the car can hold, I think, 22. So you just want the weight taken out of it so it's as, as fast as possible. You're going to start on sticker tires in qualifying. You actually might start with a, a little less wing in the car to get a little bit more straight line speed and maybe a bit more camber for the infield. So... Um, good question though, HMS do 24. The uh, the car, our car actually, we ran it like we did in practice and qualifying and, and the night practice because we're not so concerned with uh, with pace for qualifying as we are for the uh, the actual race. You know, being able to consistently do low 50s and, and 51s and 52s is what we really want to see out of the car. So you guys, you know, we t we talked about you and qualifying. But let's talk a little bit about about your team. Um, you got, uh, you know, a, a diverse group of uh, lineups and everything from a NASCAR star to a doctor to a music producer. Tell me a little bit about uh, some of the guys you've got on board. Uh, we got a great group of guys, um, real real group of personalities. Kenny Wallace is obviously uh, very well known for his, for his NASCAR racing, but he's also just as well known for his NASCAR commentary as he is absolutely spot on. Looks like we got Katie hopping up here in the booth with us. You want to say hi, Katie? You want to wave? And uh, Katie Speeds does all of our hospitality and food, and takes care of everybody, and she's, she's rocking. So major thanks to Katie. Um, but, yeah, we got Daniel Grafe, who's from Miami, uh, works in the food industry, uh, really cool guy, thinks he's, thinks he's a lot funnier than he is. He tries to do rap beats and, uh, and, and, and rhymes to me on my cell phone. And he's about as white as they come. He's very, very white. Yeah. Um, uh, and then we have uh, Ron Yarab, who Ron and Daniel have been racing together for the last few years. And Ron's a doctor out of Ohio. A uh, little OCD in a good way. He's very methodical with everything he does, which is good because he's a doctor. You want, you want that. Um, but also a uh, fun guy to be around. Lots of joking with him. And then we got Rich Zahn, who actually owns our car and is our driver. And he's done this race last year with uh, one of the Camaro teams. And so he, he bought a Porsche and wanted to come do it right. And he's been a real hoot to be around. He's a former Marine, so we obviously appreciate that. As well as uh, just an all-around fun guy to be with. So... He and I have been cutting up left and right. We were actually just talking about uh, they got me a tent to sleep in for the race while they're going to be in the motorhome. So I'm pretty excited about that. And then uh, let's see. We got Ron Yarab, Daniel Grave, Kenny and Wallace. And Kenny Rich Wallace. And tell, Kenny, tell us about Kenny. Kenny, uh, again, NASCAR career. He's one of the Wallace family uh, of racers. Got, you know, Rusty Wallace is his brother and Mike Wallace is his brother. And uh, his nephew actually is racing nationwide. Uh, uh, what's that kid's name? <laughs> <laughs> No, I've he's not. He, he's not a sports car guy, so I don't know him. Uh, but uh, <laughs> but yeah, the whole Wallace family. Stephen Wallace. Stephen. Yes, yes, thank you. And Jeez. they. Uh, <laughs> All right, Katie. Katie Spee's making faces behind us here. Yeah, we should so turn that camera around and hold it on. I, I, 
We can, we'll just not show the, uh, tra uh, she's left anyway. Are you not allowed to show the track? No. Really? Yeah, that's the whole deal. That's our permission with Fox and Speed. We wow. cannot turn this camera around. That's why we're staring at your ugly mug. What about putting a mirror up behind us? <laughs> Could you do that? Well, th what's the point? I'll I mean, see something. It's ridiculous. No. Anyway, that was my answer. Are we on? Are we on commercial break? No, no, no. I just uh, see. It. Be right back. Yeah. Um, Kenny Wallace, though, uh, great NASCAR driver, finished second in the Nationwide points a couple years back. He's going to do the full season of Nationwide this year with Rad Racing, Robbie Benton. They're going to have a pretty cool program, and uh, just the funny, one of the funniest guys I've met. And a lot of people, you know, they they write him off for sports car racing because he's a he's a roundy round guy. And he came in with a great attitude, right away wanted to know all the ins and outs. He rode in the right seat with me and uh, also rode with Andy at Kershaw. Went there for a few days of testing. and uh, on the street loose, too, I think. We got him on the street loose for a few minutes. Uh, he was all about it. The only problem is Kershaw is completely flat, so we couldn't get we couldn't get any good speed up. But probably a better idea. It, yeah, exactly. We kind of wanted him to make the race this weekend. So, <laughs> um, But, yeah, Kenny's been a great, great asset to the team, not only uh, with his outright pace, but his personality and his positive outlook on everything. It's a lot of fun. Nice, nice. Yeah. All right. So we're just going back to green here after a black flag all. Turn the radio up here, let you guys listen in on what's all going down. Yes. P1 right now is uh, Ronnie Bremer still. Flight is uh, on. In the 57 Stevenson oh, Motorsports. Yeah, yeah. Camaro, headed up by Mike Johnson, a good friend of, uh, yep. of Ryan's here. Uh, you're getting up to speed on this opening warm-up lap. I just want to remind you, take your time. Go for getting into your nice groove, your nice rhythm. And when you get into that groove, let's talk about the line at the bus stop. Slightly later apexes. Have fun, bud. And that is the uh, spotter for, I assume, the number 50. No, no, that's no, our that's spotter, spotter, Aaron Pavolito, who's oh. a very good racer himself. He's Canadian. You probably heard the abuse. That's it. That was pretty there. obvious. Um, yeah, he's Canadian. Uh, Sports car driver, he actually won the last Continental Challenge race Come last year at road, Miller with APR. Very good driver, great spotter, just all around good guy. He's been coaching a long time in the series, and he has worked with Ron and Daniel in the past, so it's good to have him associated with us because they, they work really well together. Nice. And again, if you guys have any questions about uh, oh, anything, really, Ryan is your resident expert. Certainly, I don't know what the hell I'm talking about, so uh, better than Ryan answers. Remember, you guys, if you guys are talking to any of your racer friends, this is awesome to have somebody live right here telling you what's going on. I would I would tune in or tell your friends to tune in if you're uh, big sports car guys. All 23 of you. Yeah, put it on your Facebook page. Put it on Twitter. You can make fun of me. You guys can ask me anything you want. Anything about Sean, I'll be happy to answer. All right, Tim, you got this. You want me to you, try to juggle or something? There's yeah, plenty of stuff. Yeah. We had the Magnus car, the uh, 88 you auto house car. You when we went yellow, so you're fine. Thank you, 4-7, no problem. That that Mark. drone of a voice you just heard was Mark Rapoff. He's very uh, robotic with his with his with his, <laughs> with his dictates. Exactly. Mark Rapoff is the uh, competition director of uh, Grand Am. He, he's the one that issues all the penalties, all the rules. Yep. I'll be uh, right back in one second. I'll let you take over, Ryan. Clear, clear, all around. So here we are down in uh, closer to turn one. We actually start finish line is about a quarter. Uh, that's about just a little under two tenths of a mile to our right. So we're basically right around the uh, 150 marker in turn one. So down here is where you get to watch and see who can really go deep on the brakes. And it's kind of like you know who's in a car. You see the 67 yeah, come out. You see a brake at the six, one. Five, Deeper, you know, it's, uh, it's Andy Lowry or well. Pompelli or Hensler or somebody like that. Cool deal. All right, 53 coming right in front of us here. Yeah, it looks like we got, is that Bob Doyle? Uh, currently in the car is Bob uh, Doyle with the Red Bull helmet. Outside, yep, outside. can't miss him, all six foot, 13 of them. Yeah. 41, you're okay, so we got six five and so three six. 53 was a late minute uh, addition to this program because uh, wait, 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 wait. they were actually scheduled to run with another team, I think, and then uh, kind of put everything together last minute. And they got Ken Dobson in there. Ken's a really good touring car driver. He's uh, made his name in the World Challenge Touring Car Series over the last few years. And uh, uh, really cool guy. Very really fast. Looking forward to seeing him uh, get comfortable in that car. Yeah, we did. Spent a lot of time with Ken just now. Yep. And uh, what else have we got going on here? We have about 100. How many people do you think that yeah, is? Yeah, this is, this is just a practice. There I mean, is a complete. The hell is this weekend? Just really? Right over to our left over here. We have the whole team. We're actually the farthest to Clear the right. Clear coming out. Clear. Out of everybody. As my four car goes into turn one, the four lights up. That's pretty cool. Yeah. We got the 44. Magnus chasing it down in turn one, also looking good. Love that car. That is a gorgeous design. Yeah, it is. Yeah, good-looking race car. And those are hard to find sometimes. Yeah. Good kudos to whoever Yeah, whoever designed, designed that it. probably had their, their head on that day because they also designed another car that, well, let's just say it doesn't look great. Hey, 
is that you can give me your fuel? Oh, it sounds Greetings. like uh, that was the voice of uh, one Mr. Horst Fahnbacher. Very smart man. He's talking to Spencer Pompelli. Spencer married to a good friend of mine that I grew up with, Lindsay Pompelli now. Well, we, I didn't know uh, you guys grew up together. That's how I oh, introduced that's right, that's him. How you yep, yep. him. That's right. Yep. Good job. Uh, yep. on the reading. Spencer met his wife, Lindsay, trolling for college girls. That's I don't right. know. I'm still the, that's right. on I the left side. Uh, I guess I was 22 or when so. Uh, uh, I didn't go to college. I was, I was trying to become Niner. a racing bum. Um, but uh, I had a bunch of friends that were in college in Athens, and we went up there one night. And, nice. Uh, I always enjoy it when uh, it, sorry. when Horse is on with uh, guys like Dominic or Lucas or Wolf, and it's just all German the yeah, entire time. Yeah, it's funny how, the world. how good they are at switching it on and off. Like yeah. They don't even think about it. And the other funny thing is that they don't just go ahead and speak the speak English in front of everyone so yeah. everyone knows what's going on. Yeah. I and mean, it'll be a complete, Andy will be right here and Spencer and then Wolf. And they'll be like, you like the car? Everything's good. German, 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 German. You know, not like, here's what they're saying. Now you're like, oh, okay. I love the way that, uh, I think that's the Star Wars team. Yeah. That car doesn't look great during the day, but at night the, uh, really the fluorescent highlights they have on that car looks really cool. Okay. 66 flies in turn one. Got some, uh, got some questions. Uh, Kai Coakley is asking uh, Bob Doyle is a uh, six foot thirteen and ninety nine pounds, oh but I'd say that's accurate. He's six twelve, I think. Six twelve? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, yeah maybe I might be off by He's not age. seven one or seven three. Six twelve. And, and ninety nine, maybe ninety eight. Nice it's job, Tim. Nice job. Been warm today, and he's driven yeah. a decent amount. He, he might, might have slotted out a little water weight. Yeah. Six seven coming in turn one, blowing by the fifty nine. I wonder who's in the fifty nine right now. What do we got? Is that a? Uh, Who's in the 59? Uh, Brumos Andrew. car. Andrew Davis must hey, be bedding in. Yeah, yeah, it's three or four five. Well, he's probably bedding in brakes and yeah, ads and uh, maybe the dip. We did. That. Oh, okay. I don't know what that was. But a little bit of static there. Andrew and Ryan actually drove together. Petit Le Mans. That's who did. Racing. Magnus Just Racing. Magnus Racing. Great Got time. A third. Your second Petit Le Mans podium. Very cool. Puppy, like, bubble. Love being a part of that Magnus team. They're great guys over there. Yeah, I said pay attention for it. You heard Spencer call out the bobble, and what that means is he ran uh, out of fuel. The he ran out of fuel on his... Yeah, guys, basically what they're doing there. All right, Ron, uh, you're looking good at corner six. You can bring that apex about half a foot closer if you like, but overall, pretty good, bud. Aaron Pavlito talking to Ron Yarev in my car right now, the number four racing for research Porsche. Uh, basically, you heard Spencer say out the bobble. What they're doing there is they uh, purposely run the car out of gas, so we can figure out how the fuel mileage works and how much, how long the car can go on a tank of gas. So, you so put five gallons in, drive about ten laps. It looks like we got. We're gonna, right right on, here. Yeah. we're gonna do what we call in the television world a hot swap, <laughs> and I'm gonna take my headset off and let our two teammates talk. Wow. And you want to hear Kenny and Ryan talk a lot more than this jackass? So, this guy's good. Don't listen to him. This guy does not. Nah. <laughs> you don't want to know where his elbow is right now. <laughs> How long do the brake pads last on the 997 there? It's a great question. It depends on the drivers. You guys drivers that are really hard on brakes, and if you plan on going the entire race on uh, one set of pads, you got to be easy. The outside, general consensus outside, is to go just past off, the halfway point here. If you can go 14 yeah, hours on a set of pads it. and then swap, that's great because then uh, then you can – you push a little bit harder towards the end of the race as the, as the sun's coming up at night. You use less brakes because it's generally it's a, little cool, it's a little cooler out, so the car you know uses less brakes and everything. You're all so clear, but next DP good question. Cross, there. We're about 14 hours or just past the halfway. Looks like GT3 dude, my favorite track to drive. I'm really uh, partial to VIR. I had my first pro win there in a in ST and Continental Challenge last year. And uh, I also two years ago I was able to get the track record in in the uh, warm up at VIR and, and GS. So uh, VIR has been my favorite track. It looks like Sean's going to hop off here and uh, let Kenny come in. 